Good afternoon, everybody. Just got to the apartment then and surprisingly got in because the landlord wasn't too helpful, to be honest. But we do have Netflix. We worked out Netflix. And Ash, just with a special comment there, we could have tagged the landlord on Instagram, but I don't think she has it because she didn't even give me an idea of how to get into the apartment, let alone how to use Netflix. But we are here. Took about six hours to get here. We left at like 6.30 in the morning. And Jess has her tan at about 6.30 tonight. So we'll get that done first and hopefully relax. So what do you get for $400 a night? This is what you get for $400 a night. You get instant coffee. You get your money's worth. Quick tour, quick tour, 15 seconds. Bathroom in there, master bedroom, trolley. Kitchen, lounge area, balcony out the back, but it's raining, so won't be using that. Remember I said about being prepared, so I'm hungry now, and I brought some foods with me, so I'm having a protein bar now, and a monster can for a little bit of afternoon energy. Not that I need it, I'm a little bit hypo right now, but I'm pretty excited for this weekend. So we're just preparing dinner now. I'll show you what we're gonna have when it's made, but everything is getting done right now but you have to wait and see but like I said we're prepared for tonight and the weekend so dinner is almost ready the girls have already made breakfast I feel a little bit useless because I'll just go in and probably burn and ruin everything but I'll show you what we've made in about two minutes so dinner is served and this is what I'm having tonight or what we're having tonight So that's a classic gym bro food, obviously. But like I said, tomorrow you might want to watch the show, but you don't want to watch what I'm doing after the show if you suffer from cravings because I'm going to be an absolute pig. So we finished dinner before and we just got to this random house. It's not that random, but this is where Jess is getting her tan done now. So about 6.30, so it should settle in nice by the morning. So say bye to pal Jess. Good morning, everybody. Yes, it's very early. It's just on six o'clock now. We got up at about 4.30 because Jess had to go and get her makeup done for the show today. So this is what you have to go through. And like much respect to all the girls that do compete because the effort they have to put in and the money they have to spend just to compete and step on stage is crazy. When you think of the makeup, tan, hair, registration, it's just, it's craziness. And not only that, most of these girls have been prepping for 12, 16, even 20 weeks just to step on stage for one or two hours. So it takes hard work and dedication and you really have to be passionate about this if you want to compete. Like it's hard enough for me as a coach running around doing all these things. I'm not even getting any of the stuff done. I'm just going to the appointments and all that sort of stuff, which is good to see because I'm used to the male side of these things. So it's really good to go through the whole process of what a female goes through. Anyway, that's the serious stuff. I'm very excited for today. I might look it because I haven't had a coffee or anything yet and it is early. Didn't get heaps of sleep, but I'm really excited for today and for the condition Jess is in. Absolutely amazing. Just wait and see. So instead of just sitting here chatting to you guys about absolutely nothing, I might go for a little walk, get some fresh air, and I'm sure Jess will text me when her makeup's done. And I'll show you what she made us all for breakfast last night. Always prepared and organised. the lake here now I know I said it was my rest day but I do get excited when I see any type of gym equipment and just have to get a few reps in here and there you know every rep counts so get it in when you can so I've got a fair few steps in now I've been talking the whole time so I think I'm just gonna enjoy the last part of this walk by myself just a bit of me time before today's full-on day because that's what I'm going for a walk for to just clear my head and enjoy the morning so remember I promised you I would show you breakfast sweet potato protein pancakes made by the amazing Jess and we can have breakfast on the go. So look at this, heaven. Okay, so we just arrived somewhere. I'm very excited and I'm just warning you, if you suffer from cravings or you like 
round sugary things. Don't watch the next snap. <laughs> turns into her bikini outfit, so it's the first event, and we're just going to try and relax, there's about two hours until she competes, so I'll check in with you guys very soon. So I just got to run back to the car, Jess forgot her flip flop, so I was going to say thongs, but you might have thought she forgot her bikini, but she didn't, so I'm going to get her flip flops, bring them back, and we're just going to try and keep her calm until stage and confident, and for me, I'm just really excited, I just want to get into it and just showcase the physique that she has built. It's absolutely amazing no matter what happens today, but I'm glad we're here and we're competing. Monster time. It's number 379, Jess Cooper. Miss McKinney, overpass number one, number 381, Nicole Phillips. Oh. <laughs> Sports model time now. Already cleaned up a second place, so we're already very happy. This is going to be a time to enjoy it and get out there. It's going to pump up now. We're going to go and watch her do her thing. So the competition's done, and this is um, what success tastes like. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm. Hell yeah. Hello, everybody. I know it's late. Most of you are probably in bed and waiting for an update, so... I'm gonna try and wrap this up as quick as possible. Don't think I'm downplaying what happened today. It was absolutely amazing. It's about, it's after 10 o'clock now, probably pushing 11, I got an early morning, but it was well worth it. Like, I don't even know what to say. Like, I'm trying not to get, I didn't wanna get emotional in front of my client, but I'm really happy. I'm actually speechless, like you can probably see my voice has changed and everything, because when I think about someone who was lacking so much confidence for someone that had something so amazing they just couldn't see and then to be a reward and then to finally be a rewarder for their hard work. They've had so many ups and downs and just things happen throughout the process. They've had to try and try and it's finally paid off for her and she's she's got a reward for all this hard work she's put in. Like I all like I always say, none of this is about me. Like I just coach her through and advise her on what to do and she obviously comes to me with questions and I coach her through the whole process but this is all her hard work. For me personally, like I moved back from London and I kind of said this to her today that I never thought in a million years I'd be prepping someone for competition here back in Portland to compete in Melbourne, let alone almost winning at a top two in Melbourne. She didn't know it at the time but on the way up there even before, a week before, two weeks before competition, I knew she was ready and I knew she was well deserving of a top place on stage. And for, to see it unfold like that, I'm just absolutely amazed. So she got second place in bikini. Absolutely amazing, I couldn't believe it. I could believe it, but I just was so amazed at what happened, it just happened. I don't know if it's like the sugar rush or the donuts and different things I had. I didn't share everything I had, but you saw the donuts and burgers and everything that we ate, but I'm just on over the moon. I don't know if I'll be able to sleep tonight. Like, I know it's 11, I gotta get up early, but I don't know what to say. And it wasn't the normal, like, client coach um, situation either. Like, over the time that she's come to me to now, this period of time, we built like a close bond partnership and team. And just to see it unfold successfully is just, I couldn't ask for more. And to see, like, how many people she is inspired. There's so many girls reaching out to her and asking her for advice and everything. Well, and she's just living her passion. And then to see her family be around her and just the love and support they give her, it just it makes it makes every this makes it all worth it. This is the perfect example tonight of why I do what I do. This isn't just a sport. This is like a lifestyle. This is creating happiness and bonding with people and, and motivating people to be better every day. I'm gonna try and wrap tonight up, but Jess, this is a shout out to you. Don't ever say your physique isn't up to standards and you're not a very inspirational and beautiful person. You've got the medals, you've taken them home to prove it. Before I get too emotional now, I'm just gonna finish the night right, okay? Shouldn't have left these with me, should have you? What a way to wrap up the weekend. I know I promote health and fitness and 
all this and that, but I basically train and eat consistently healthy so I can do this and have a donut or eight when I feel like it and not feel guilty about it. I think about, I think that's about it for today. I started at six in the morning. I'm on a sugar high now. Team Jess killed it, smashed it. Function Fitness, watch this space. See you in the morning.